Today we're going to show you how to use ladder reins, an adaptive device to ease in horseback riding. In traditional horseback riding, riders are required to keep a tight grip with their pointer, middle, and ring finger, keeping their pinky and thumb free to better stabilize the rein. This may prove challenging for individuals with issues involving fine motor control and grip strength. Populations that may experience these difficulties include, but are not limited to, those with multiple sclerosis, arthritis, and cerebral palsy. Individuals with unilateral arm amputations may also benefit from the basic design brain. Beginner riders and riders with intellectual or learning disabilities may benefit from use of the adapted ladder rein. The basic design of the rein requires less attention than typical reins, allowing riders to focus greater concentration elsewhere. Traditional riding reins, such as these leather ones, typically cost $100 for a basic set. Ladder reins, similar to these, can range in price between $60 and $100, depending on the material they're made from. Casey and I made these for $20. We use two six-foot nylon dog leashes, three feet of foam tubing, and a needle and thread for sewing. First, we cut both six-foot nylon leashes down to three foot each, and then sewed the ends together to have one long rein with snaps on each end, like this. Then, we use the excess material to make two 18-inch rungs. The rungs were placed one below the original attachment like this and one above the original attachment like this. Finally, we added the foam tubing onto each rung. This gives your rider a built-up handle and also is very easy to add and take off because it comes with a pre-cut line down the middle. Putting these reins on is very simple. As you can see, they have a simple snap that attaches to the bit, which is right here, and is inside the horse's mouth. The bit is responsible for helping you to stop and steer, which is very important when it comes to horseback riding. Removing traditional reins can be tricky because it's a fine motor skill. If your rider has impairments in fine motor, you may need to help them with this task. Once your traditional reins are removed, you take the ladder reins and place them over the horse's neck like this. You then take the snap and attach it to the bit. As we mentioned before, the build-up grip of the foam tubing makes it easier to hold. Here are the three different rungs we discussed. The first one is used if you want more contact with the horse's mouth for precision steering. As you move further away from the horse's mouth, you have less contact, allowing for a leisurely ride. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the adaptive ladder rein. I'm going to pull back on my right arm to steer right. And pull back on my left arm to steer left. I'm back again with the right. And this is my first time on a horse, <laughs> so you know it's easy to use. In summary, we hope that our adapted ladder rein will be able to help some of the disability populations that we talked about. It is a cost-effective tool, and we hope that it will help individuals participate in one of the most important occupations that there is, leisure. For more information on adapted horseback riding and adapted devices, you can visit the website for the Professional Association of Therapeutic Horsemanship International, or PATH International, which is the governing body for adapted horseback riding. FreedomRider.com is an online store for purchasing adapted horseback riding devices. And finally, Paralympic.org, 
which offers information about adapted horseback riding at the professional level.